Hello, I am David Atumbro, and today we will be... David, how many times do I have to tell you this? This is my show. But I am arguably more qualified than you are at running this. Alright guys, I'm going to have you vote by a raise of hands. Would you prefer a living national treasure? Or a first year college student who just got rejected from both Europe and Spur? Well, since democracy doesn't apply here in the stick figure world, I'm going to declare myself the winner. But that's not fair. I object to this. Wait, David, do you hear that? It's a baby walrus. Gasp. It's in a dire situation and almost sure to die without human intervention. What? And it could use some... Narration. 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 I want to narrate. Bark, 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 woof, 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 bark, bark. Hello, kids. It's your favorite struggling environmental science major, Sean. And I'm going to be presenting tonight's Wildlife of the Week. Today, we're going into the past. And by the past, I mean 300 million years ago, in a little site called Mason Creek, renowned for its plethora of well-preserved prehistoric creatures. But for today, we're just going to be focusing on this little fella, the Tolly Monster. Now, can we take a second to admire this beautiful work of art? Take a look at its elegantly designed cigar-shaped body. This thing over here, called the eye bar. This appendage, called the proboscis, which has eight sharp teeth, and is basically a hybrid of a mouth and a limb, and then a little tail here with two fins. If you're feeling squeamish and feel like you need to violently vomit, please excuse yourself from the room. This guy came in a whole range of sizes, from 3.1 inches to 14 inches long, comparable to a Subway sandwich, but the small ones probably had good personalities at least. Based on fossil evidence, the Tolly monster is believed to have been a carnivore, feeding on stuff like shrimp, small fish, and jellyfish by using its horrific mouth arm. Now you may be saying, Sean, you're saying all of this, but what kind of animal is the Tolly monster? And I'm going to be very honest with you, I don't think anyone has an idea. See, since the discovery of the first Tolly monster fossil in 1955, paleontologists have been squabbling over how to classify this... thing. I think that this is a cephalopod. No, it's definitely a fish. It could be a worm. Now, fellas, let's settle down and think rationally. This is obviously the disembodied limb of my Uncle Jimmy. Get the f*** out of here, Charles! Nowadays, there are two main possibilities that paleontologists have been debating over. On one hand, some believe that Tully monsters were very primitive vertebrates, closely related to the equally as weird lampreys, which honestly, I can see the resemblance. This is also apparently evidenced by this structure that's assumed to be a rudimentary spinal cord and the presence of decay products which are found only in vertebrates. On the other hand, others assert that Tully monsters were invertebrates, arguing that the supposed spinal cord was actually just some digestive structure, and that the presence of the proboscis doesn't really match with typical open water feeding methods used by vertebrates, but more similar to that used by mollusks. Me personally, I just like to think that the Tully monster was some sort of pickle that gains sentience. Kind of like Larry from VeggieTales, but if I smacked him with a pan and left him with horrifying facial deformities. Please help me! Now what happened to the Tolly monsters? Well, in 1966, reports surfaced that there were creatures in Kenya, which locals called the Dancing Worms of Turkana, where they could be found in remote lakes. They were said to have the ability to kill a man with one bite, and produce some sort of milk. This caught the attention of paleontologist Eugene Richardson, who recognized these creatures' similarities to the Tolly monster. Excited, Eugene began planning an expedition to the site, but Plot twist. This was actually just a good-natured prank by one of his colleagues, and the whole story was fabricated, much to everyone's disappointment. So that was the end of that. In all, it looks like the Tolly monster went extinct 300 million years ago after all, but its silly presence will always be in our hearts. And all the while, Eugene moped around in his apartment, coping with shots of vodka. I'm Sean Torres, and thank you for watching.